Hi there, and welcome to the Starting Your First Print with Palette 2 using Canvas Hub Guide. At the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to printing with your Palette 2 and Canvas Hub. First, I would like to advise you to watch the setup guide for Canvas Hub to ensure that your Canvas account, printer, and Palette 2 are connected to the Canvas Hub before continuing with the video. Another thing that must be done in order to print with your Canvas Hub is to ensure that your palette settings in Canvas are set to connected mode. Once all those requirements are met, let's get started. Here we are in Canvas. After we sliced our files with colors, we see the option at the bottom to send to Canvas Hub. We simply click that. Then we go to our Canvas Hub and see that we have a notification that we are receiving a new file. Once the file has been received, it will show up in the Files section. Files that are multi-material are indicated by the palette icon as seen here. If you decide to download the file from Canvas, you can simply drag and drop the file into the browser, but make sure you select Upload Locally so the file correctly prints with Palette 2. Now that we have our file on our Canvas Hub, we can simply click Load and Print to start. We may get a pop-up mentioning that the part is too big for the print volume. The Canvas Hub is set up with defaults for the print volume and may not match your printer. The print volume can be properly configured or you can disable this notification. For now, we know that the print fits our printer, so we can simply click print again. Now we get a pop-up indicating we are about to print with our Palette 2. And with that, our Palette 2 begins initializing. Your printer will be put into a paused state until Palette 2 is ready to begin the print. At this point, we'll be working with the Palette 2 alongside Canvas Hub. We simply click Next and click Finished when we ensured there's no filament in the Palette 2 or the outgoing tube. We are then prompted to load our desired filaments. Once all of our filaments are loaded, we are prompted to preheat our printer's extruder. And if we go back to Canvas Hub, we see a pop-up indicating the same procedure. We click OK and simply set our tool temperature and bed temperature as needed. On our palette, we click Next and are instructed to load clear or light filament through our nozzle to clear any previous colors. Once our printer has become hot enough, we can navigate to the Control tab and use the Extrude function to extrude the clear filament through our printer. We are then instructed to feed the filament into our extruder's gear just enough for the filament to catch. We can use the extrude function to simply move a couple millimeters in order to catch the filament. Once that is complete, we are prompted to clip the tube into our extruder clip. We are then instructed to slowly jog filament through our extruder until we see the very first appearance of color. We can use the extrude function to slowly extrude the filament until the first appearance of our first color comes out of the nozzle. We can adjust the extrude distance to a small number like 1 or 2 millimeters to do this accurately. The slide below can be used to adjust the speed at which the extrusion occurs. See how we stop extruding as the new color appears like seen here. You can also use the printer's controls to heat up the printer or jog the extruder. However, please return back to the printer's status screen before pressing Start Print. Now that we are calibrated with our printer, we click Next and are given the option to Start Print. Once that option is selected, both the palette and the printer begin the print. Here is the final product. This video showed you what it's like to print with Palette 2 for the first time on a new printer using Canvas Hub. To see what it's like to start a print using an SD card for Palette 2, see this video. For more instructional videos and information, check out the rest of our channel as well as the links in the description below.
If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com.